Let's see how to create a document template for the Contracts app. First, let's create a document in a text editor. It has to include variables that will later be replaced with data from the process. Moreover, the document file can include functions, conditions, cycles, and any type of text. You can find out more about variables and the syntax of document templates in the Help Center. We'll add variables for the contract reference number, the contractor, the start and end dates of the contract, the supplied items, and the amount of the contract to the file. We need to save the file on the computer. Let's open the App menu and click Document Templates. We'll add a new template. Let's give it a name and upload the file. The system extracts the variables on its own. We can match them with the types of data in the system. If you leave these fields empty, you can later match the variables from the template with process variables of any type. If you specify the type at this point, you won't be able to change it in the process. Let's save the changes. The template is ready. You can always edit a template later by clicking its name. Now let's do everything we need to include the generation of contracts from this template into the process. As the document will now be generated automatically during the process, we need to remove the file field from the document creation form. To do that, let's open the document creation form, click Advanced Mode, and add a custom creation form for this app. We'll remove the Upload and Preview File widget, move the Standard Item Form widget from the side panel into the Modal window, and delete Properties on the side panel. Let's publish the form. Now let's go back to the form settings. Let's open the Create tab available in the Advanced mode and open the settings of the File field. Let's check the height if the field is empty box. Now the field won't be displayed on the form until the document is generated. Let's open the process's flowchart. First, we need to add a files type variable to the process context. It will store the generated document. Let's place the Generate from Template activity right after the Start event. Now let's open the Activity Settings, give it a name, and select the template we created. In the Generated File field, we'll select the previously created variable of the files type. Let's also specify the generated file's name that will include the variable storing the contract reference number. On the Field Values tab, you need to match the variables from the template with process variables. Let's save the form. When the process starts, the system will generate the contract from the template we created. It will be stored in the generated file variable. To write the file to the app, we'll use the Edit App Item activity. Let's place it after the Generate from Template activity and open its settings. We'll give it a name and select the app type variable that the data from the process needs to be written to. In our case, it's Contracts. Let's open the Fields Values tab. As the app field, we need to add the field that stores the contract file. The file field on the app form needs to store the generated contract file. 
So we need to assign this field the value of the corresponding process variable. Let's select it in the process variable column and click Save. Now we need to publish the process. Let's see how it all works. An employee creates a new contract. It's enough to enter the necessary information in the fields on the form. The contract file will be generated automatically during the business process.